Krug, and I'm here to tell you about my show that's coming up in May. It's called Reflections on Falling Up. But I'd like to start by just letting you know a little bit about how I paint and why I paint. I've been involved in painting and drawing for many years. As a little girl, I always could be found with a great big manila pad where I was drawing figures and filling them every day with lots of different people and shapes. And when I found that I couldn't figure out how to draw hands, they either went behind the person's back or in someone's pocket. But that's then, and this is now, and my pieces are very much filled with gestures and emotion and the intersection of people and relationships. And hands are very much part of my, my pieces, and you'll notice that as you see them coming up. When I start with a blank canvas, there's a feeling of excitement and there's a feeling of terror, which I know is shared by other artists. And the terror comes from, can I pull off what I think I want to do? Can I make it look like I want it to seem? Will it convey the emotion and the feelings that I want to express? But what ends up happening is I jump in with bravery and um, just proceed with putting figures in spaces, um, cropping some, intersecting some, and what generally happens with my work is I'll paint a piece or I'll sketch out an image and I'll let it sit for a while and then I'll come back to it and I may almost finish the painting and then look at it and say nope that's not quite right and I'll paint over the entire canvas. So most of my pieces have a history. There's a history of a lifetime of other imagery, other colors, other lines, other shapes and that's what makes it provocative. I wanted to go into this a little bit more for you to understand because what this leads me to is the show that's coming up in May called Reflections on Falling Up. That comes from Michelle Silverstein poem and um, falling up to me as I think about it now is more autobiographical than I'd imagined and falling up is when things get turned around and when you are going down and suddenly are able to turn the other direction you find all these new and exciting opportunities that you hadn't maybe expected to find. And so the falling up piece is about my life story and how things have gone in many different directions and then landed me where I am now. The turnarounds produce a very exciting opportunity. So I want to invite you to come on down to Gallery 114 to see reflections on falling up in May. The opening uh, reception is May 5th from 6 to 9. And I'll be showing with my dear friend and sister-in-law, Debbie Hegedus, who's coming to town from Delaware. She's been a full-time artist and she has amazing talent in creating magical environments to feel soothed by, to feel healed by, to feel mysteriously entranced by. So please join us.